It says go live. Now, how do you share your thing? Yep, you don't you get a uh, how did I do this last time? Comments, settings, private chats, what are the settings? It says audio. Forgotten how I did this last time. Invite. Oh, here it is. Okay, you can. Ah, right. Okay. People, all right. Look at that. People coming on. <laughs> People, I was fidgeting with the camera and I thought, have I figured out the thing I was trying to figure out? And I oh, had. I got the chat. And Layla said, why don't you go live? Papa, so I was like, all right, let's go live. <laughs> this is, uh, let me share this. All right. Where did I put my... All right, I can't seem to. I was trying to... There it is. It's moving up so rapidly. Uh, no, it's moved again. I was trying to say, well... Nope. I was trying to pin it, but I don't know how to pin it here. So, all right, people. Shall we? Oh, thank all right. you. She's saying, well, thank you. Look at that. Love her. <laughs> Shukran, Robin. You're doing it. You're doing it. Have I shared the thing? Let me see. Have I, I'll share it again. You put it on. Oh. If you want to come live quickly. Quickly. Layla, are you playing to be more in the future? <laughs> Hello, it's Comfort. All right, people, there Maybe it the is. 2.0. The 2.0. <laughs> <laughs> Layla is the 2.0. Layla's the, the girl version. <laughs> there it is. I don't know how to. I think you. No, you literally put it on all so everyone can see it. I think it says. Now that's me, it's showing my comments. Right, so Abdul Karim AK, you're doing it, man. You're you. doing it. Love you too. Yeah, that's uh, uh okay. let me put my where's my banners gone? <laughs> All right, vampire greetings going down, people. So this is alright. <laughs> I don't know if my uh Layla is a vampire. Layla is a vampire. Oh yeah, she's I a vampire. Am. Oh, Sajita, so you're awake at this godforsaken hour. <laughs> <laughs> how much does your daddy today, Layla? Layla, how much does your daddy a day? A lot. A lot. <laughs> Let me just tell you that. Vampires are scary. All oh, right. Well. That's it, people. Somebody's saying, I want to ask a question. You want to come live? I've shared the link. Let me see. There it is again. I don't know how to pin it. I did try to kind of... No, this was the link. So, all right, people. You've been my day chilling, you know. We've got smiling at the end. Oh. All right, people. It's 7 a.m. in India. It's 7 a.m. in India. <laughs> Muhammad Hassan. Kya baat hai yaar. Hindustan mein it's 7. Oh yeah. In the morning. See oh, that's when I tell Layla that there's no kids in the whole wide world. And she dad. says. Thank you. Yes I do have a good dad. Yes you do my dear. You have a great I'm, dad. See I'm, I have the greatest dad. <laughs> I have the greatest dad. <laughs> I am about to turn nine years old. Only at Mufti with camera on. Love only from Canada, brother. Uh, with camera on only. Yeah, come on with camera on, people. Camera on. Let me see who you are. It's 6 30 in Pakistan. Yeah. 6.30. Sajid Raza Ji. Wow, 6.30 in Pakistan. So yeah. that's Layla's response usually when I'm like, 
you need to get your behind to bed. There's no children awake in the whole wide world. And she's like, well, actually, there's children awake right now in Pakistan or in India. Islam from USA. <laughs> Trying to be clever. Osman wa alaikum as salam. Uh, are the biceps bigger than Layla's? They're not yes. bigger than <laughs> Layla's yes. face. I was actually, you know what? I was fidgeting with the camera. I was thinking there's got to be a way to clock. It's 2 a.m. in India. Because I to be last time when I did my meetup, the camera kept it's pointing me that way, and it looked like I was out of. I was looking that way, and and the person who comes on is in the other in direction. Western Australia. All right, you're doing it. So I figured it out, people. I figured it out. Look at that. Jamal is there to say, if you add Jamal to the live stream, what say you? Yeah. All right. Yeah. <laughs> you're That's doing right. It. You're doing it. Let me put on the, you know what? Here you can add people. Dad, I'm trying to read the chat. You just see the, the oh, you, I've closed the chat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at the, you know, where it allows the, it also shows the uh, the guest as well. But how's it going, Jamal? How's Very good, man. This is uh, this is my second time being on this thing you got going on. Serious? <laughs> what the go on? Oh, <laughs> All right, there it is. You know, <laughs> I've never double dipped on a most <laughs> on a fifty before. <laughs> Uh, doing it. See, we've got different people time. coming on. What you're doing it, Jamal? Where Where are you, by the way? America is it? Or yeah, Florida. Florida. Yeah, man. Dude, you know, I kind of, I kind of feel like you kind of fit, fit outside the UK. Like maybe. Oh, he was so cute. Like, have you thought about maybe like living somewhere else? <laughs> <laughs> I think Layla would love that. Layla's always like. America, Canada. I'm like, chill out, Layla. <laughs> I don't know, man. I kind of see you doing like your own thing, like somewhere else, like not even America or Canada. All right. Where do you see, man? What, what do you see? What's, what's the vision that you're seeing? I don't know, man. I'm half Puerto Rican. I kind of feel like you would do oh, that in, like Puerto South Rico. America. All right. All right. Yeah. Puerto Rico. All right. Do you speak uh, Blas Espanol? Oh, claro que sí. Oh, claro que sí. All right. <laughs> Spanish is such a, I feel it's such an awesome language, honestly. Yeah, uh, man. It's but so I kind of feel like the whole Maliki, Spain, and like the history of colonialism in South America yeah. and the Caribbean. I can see you in the Caribbean, man. <laughs> <laughs> Rocking it at the beach. <laughs> <laughs> no, but there's like a good like uh, community in like Trinidad and the whole the whole Caribbean is an interesting melting pot of so many different cultures. You have like Africans, Indians, Native Americans, Spanish, oh my god, Dutch. It's gone. Thank you. I'm stealing the show. All right. <laughs> And the lead thing, Salam Mufti Saab, Layla is totally stealing the show. She is. She's totally stealing it. Oh, man. Well, we've got some other people on. They go on, then I'll bring someone. Jamal. Take care, man. Take care, man. Adios. Salam alaikum. Right, people. So, look at that. Unfortunately, I was video waiting by my little vampire here. Oh. <laughs> Sajida, you're on the screen now. You're doing it. <laughs> that was now rudely we're not playing with the girl. That's it now. Oh God. I want to read more comments. Yeah, I want to read more <laughs> comments. <laughs> right, so, assalamu <laughs> alaikum, Mufti Kazi. Hello, you're doing Layla it. Oh. Imam, you're doing it. Layla, boo. Oh. My name's Layla, too. Look at that. You're doing it, Layla Poo. You're doing it. <laughs> Interesting choice. Layla and Zosa, wait. Layla and Zosa not living in the UK. <laughs> Zosa's actually asleep. Yeah, I mean. I would be on the live, though. <laughs> I would. They're, no, that's just Layla always trying to be worldwide. Oh, we should go here. We should go. You know what it is? Yeah. Watching all these YouTubers. 
this is, I don't know, they're in a little world of their own, these young uns. All right, we've got Rafid Hussein waiting. Should we? Right, look at that. Go on then, let's add. Assalamu alaikum, Rafid. How are you? <laughs> Good. How are you doing? Family. Thank you for. I'm good, man. I, do. I love all your videos, man. I watch all of that, man. <laughs> Shukran, man. Uh, much appreciated. Where Where are you connecting from? I'm uh, I'm from Canada, Vancouver. Canada, Vancouver. All right, doing it. At one point, Layla had this kind of like, I don't know what it was, like a craze to say <laughs> we need to go visit Canada. Canada. I was yeah, like, why do we need to visit Canada? She was like, who was it from this? Some YouTuber who? Yeah, some YouTuber that I really want to visit. <laughs> <laughs> who was it? Which we? I forgot. Oh, uh, you've forgotten now. She's grown out of it now. But she's going yeah. mad at one point. So how is Vancouver, Rafid? <laughs> it's amazing. The weather is like, it's a little rainy, a little bit rainy, you know. But, you know, okay. especially in the UK, you, you have a lot of rain too. <laughs> We're used to it, man. Yeah. We're used to it. Yeah, but <laughs> mashallah, it's a beautiful, you know, beautiful most beautiful city honestly it's beautiful Ooh, wow. we have to inshallah check it out interesting yeah. name by the way rafid <laughs> thank it's you it's bengali <laughs> oh wow i was about to say i've never really come across that name ever before You're is it rafid or is it rafid yeah i've never met another rafid as well i've it's only rafid. met one other one like, is it like rafid like that like rafa yeah yeah you said it right Rafid, like yeah, that. yeah. All right, okay. Because <laughs> all right, you're doing it. Because I thought, uh, hmm, I thought for a moment it was in relation to the uh, the sh the Shia thing. Wait, Is it what, in relation to that? It's not relation to. That. Okay. I don't think so. No, no. no. Okay, because that's yeah, also yeah. they uh, called the Rafid da, but I didn't think they named themselves that though. I didn't think oh. they. I thought, all right, yeah. Rafid. Please answer my question. <laughs> yeah, for sure, man, for sure, brother. Well, yeah. all right, man, Rafid. It's awesome, man. I yeah, appreciate man. you. talking with you, man. I love all your videos, you know, all of them. All right, shukran, Thanks, man. man. I dearly appreciate that. If you are on Instagram or anything, do send me a message. I'll look out, I'll look out for you. Oh, for account. sure, yeah, look out for Rafid, you know. <laughs> I will, man, definitely. How old definitely. is Layla, though? <laughs> I love you, brother. Assalamu alaikum. I'm eight and a half years old. All right, first. Oh, see, I was removing the other guy. You came straight. Oh, alaikum as salam. First, G. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Um, good. Um, I love your show. I disagree with a lot of things, but I still love the show. That's that's cool, man. See, that's all we have to really try to do is just. Oh, my. Even if we disagree, we can still engage. Yeah, no, I, I, I honestly, I think. Uh, there is a demand for you. Um, there's a certain group of people. I think they really need you. Uh, I really think that. Um, like I'm, I'm personally like I'm a fan of Yasser Qadi. I know that may not gel very well. No, I, I, I'll be a fan of Yasser Qadi. I'm so fancy, bete me Yeah. So, but yeah, but I, I, I really think. Uh, you know, keep Thank it up. Um, and I, I really love your dialogues with uh, with atheists. I mm -hmm. think that's uh, that's that's a really good thing you started. Um, perhaps yes, continue really with that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, yeah. I, What's that? I appreciate it, man. Where were you calling from? Uh, connecting from? Uh, Tron uh, Toronto. Yeah. Toronto. All right. Annoying habit. All right. Doing it. Doing it. A lot of and Canadians on. Tonight, right now, that's, I don't really know. But like, yeah, you come at a very convenient time for us. Leila, <laughs> what is Mufti Saab's most annoying habit? Oh, look at that. Have, he does not have a Oh, Majan, look at that. Don't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Even though uh, I literally go to live. Awesome, man. I think, you know, my like timing to... are usually always more convenient to the Americans and the Canadians, I think, yeah. because. Just because I'm a vampire, so it just works out so, <laughs> so well. Oh, well good luck, guys. good luck with everything. Shukran, man. I appreciate it first, man. Take okay. care of yourself. Okay. Salam alaikum. Oh my lord, someone's a liar. The chat is on oh my <laughs> All right, people doing it, doing it. Comments on Hagia Sophia. Yeah, I'm actually very um yes, disappointed because it's at nine by that decision. 50 p.m. in Canada. 
I'm uh, oh. very disappointed on the Hagia uh, Sophia thing. I don't think they should be converting it to a masjid. To be wa Why? What's the uh, what's the need? You know, we're Any not Urdu insecure. Any Urdu shayari? Ah, Urdu shayari. Yeah, what's some? You know, I was reading online, the other day. I was reading. You know what? Let me actually open it. I was reading. If I've got it here, yeah, I was reading some. Mirza uh, Rafi uh, Soda. You know, somebody you don't really read much. Um, it's not loading, sad. It, okay, thank <laughs> you. It is loading. <laughs> it's not loading, sad. <laughs> um, For you. I was just like, wow, you know, he is so amazing. Uh, let me see if I can yes, bring up something online. of his. Right. That's um, Turkey for you. <laughs> all right. Let me, yeah, I've brought it up. And there's some of his, he's, a, by the way, a contemporary of Mir Taqimir. Um, and somebody from the early... Uh, those who kind of set out and design really what you know Urdu poetry as we come to know it, and okay, in some ways comment, no, 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 no. he hasn't been given Bela, as much he recognition. I have a door your agent, but she refuses to speak Urdu. Yes, I can speak Urdu. Ha. Oh. Then Urdu me baat kijiye. I don't want to talk. You don't why don't you talk about it? Layla is talking about Urdu. Left from South America. So I was going to read out some, some good ones here. If I... You can, if you want. Yeah, why not, why not? He, this is an interesting cops, line he has. Guns. <laughs> <laughs> he says, Zalim me keh raha hoon ke is khun se dar guzar. That he's, he's addressing someone with this line. Can you read an Arabic poem, please? Soda ka katal hai ye chupaya na jayega. I got to head out for now, folks. Va, 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 va. Right, so let me show you another. I love the way he finishes some of his... He says, Sun sun ke arze hal mera yaar ne kaha. Soda na bate bet ke ya mutta silva. Too much like this. <laughs> He's Santa. Oh, this comment, Dad. Look, oh, look, look. are they doing those ones though? Are Dad, they trying the to say. Uh, Mufti said the most annoying is he laughs too much, like as if he was Santa. Definitely, definitely. <laughs> if that's, you know, one of the worst qualities, you, you got to kind of like go with it because that's a good quality to. <laughs> Maybe you should have. add the person online. Though. Oh, right. Somebody, should we add somebody about Maybe Arabic poetry? Wait. Yeah, we should. Layla, we should. you are a beauty. Oh, thank you. Layla Majan is is a absolute beauty. Yeah. Vah, 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 vah. Mm -hmm. Pakistani. Mini with... Mufti. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. Love Zishan Nakvi, a naughty, naughty Layla. shout out. Layla. Malik Zishan. Much love and respect, Who? Mufti. Wait, no, oh, you literally removed the comment. Did I, did I move it? <laughs> yeah. How do I move it? You literally pull it up. Oh, damn. Okay. What? Layla, <laughs> what is something? Can you give oh Zishan? God. Zishan, <laughs> you <laughs> naughty, <laughs> naughty. <laughs> what is something? Dad, you literally removed me. What is something we don't know about your dad? Mmm, that's <laughs> I don't interesting. even know either. All <laughs> <laughs> uh, right, let's bring on Muhammad Hassan. Assalamu alaikum, Muhammad Hassan. Wa alaikum assalam, Mufti Saab. How are you? I'm good. How are you doing? Where are you connecting from? I'm in, I'm in India. I, I was the one who messaged at 7 o'clock in the morning in India. India, all right. Hindustan, say. Wow, 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 wow. Where are you in, in, in India? Mufti looks in, like uh, the southern part of India, uh, in Kerala. Kerala, all right, all right, awesome. What other languages do you speak? Um, I speak like Urdu, Malayalam, Hindi. Malayalam. Malayalam. See,
Uh, you know, sometimes I see these uh, uh, these uh, what is it it's clips in Malayalam and these other and clips, and I think, damn! How, I, sometimes I try to listen, thinking, can we understand anything? We it's just totally different, isn't it? <laughs> oh, they're, they're saying that uh, this language is uh, filled with. I mean, if you can master this language. Uh, if you can master this language, you can master any other language because there's so many tongue twisters in this. <laughs> yeah, I, I, and I feel it's linked to the old original languages of India, isn't it? Yeah, Sanskrit. Yeah, it's one yeah. Of and sir, I consider you as a tough guy. Wow. Yeah. So that considers you as a tough guy. You are a tough guy. <laughs> <laughs> so, so what else is going to happen in Kerala? I, I, I just wanted to like uh, uh, tell you that uh, I'm a big fan of yours and I enjoy your show each and every day. I I wait till ten, eleven o'clock here in India to uh, catch your. open my uh, mind my way of thinking and how you put across and how i w i was raised up like the idea of the whole religion of islam is like Why your point of view is very very relatable for the youth of i mean the youth generally Ufti, will you let me go? I have the only only thing I have uh, like I'm a little upset with you that you are not into Sufism, and I think you should start Sufi now. Sufism. Hi. <laughs> Did you say Sufism? Sufism. Uh, yes. Yes. Ah, right. Okay. No, I'm. Hi. You know, I'm not against Sufism. Um, Ufti has fun. I'm not part of a tariqa, but um, I'm not against no, it. I recognize. It's but you don't show any interest as well. You feel yeah. it's, uh, <laughs> it's superstitious. Well, and it's, so, 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 mm. so, it's like, true. Okay. You know what? What's interesting is uh, I've because most of like many of the dons of Maliki Madhab has like I know uh, very so, Sufi. So. Yeah, they were. In fact, even Abu Hassan Ashadili was Sufi, and you know the whole. I mean, was Maliki, and the whole thing. Um, there's a lot of a huge amount of uh, Malikis. I, but yeah, again, yeah, like, but but I also see where you're coming from. People misuse it; it's become a cult. But the yeah. real thing, like, like how Ibn Arabi was. Yeah, you see, I, I've recently, in the last maybe year, become very fascinated with like consciousness and things like this. Yeah. Now that it has some similarities with what. That the Tasawwuf thing is speaking about, but to me, you see, there's some aspect. If that's what it means, then that I am very interested in. But there is a side, a huge side of Tasawwuf, which is more about like, um, you see, spirituality to to them is more about like, let's say, doing zikr and doing things like this, and a lot of, uh, which is nice, which is really good, but. <laughs> you know, we're like, um, you know, words of Ghalib that um, <laughs> you should start an order. I, I truly believe there'll be so many followers. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I feel that it's uh, it's nice, the, the whole thing, but I just, you know, I can, I'll just, maybe it's laziness or whatever, but that whole thing of dhikr and wazifas and all this isn't me. my. He is it's more about thinking and yeah. with me and yeah and i also well, do yeah, see that the sawuf unfortunately is like the folkloric thing it's the you know like the kind of thing that is um th that kind of become that version of islam yeah. for the Sometimes the kind of public in you know like the who who aren't necessarily connected like it's not that they're not interested, but they they're not there isn't the intellectual thing that they're after. They're more just after rituals and that folklore, you know, like uh, just like a a, a rivalty, just like um, you know, like, uh, so I feel that is where Sufism really resonates with the public. 
to me, uh, it is a lot more intellectual. So yes. this I is. I mean, if you're against, if you're against that that part of Sufism, no, then I come. I'm happy to say that David Wall is very happy about Yeah. No, absolutely, absolutely. So, but. यार बहुत बहुत खुश हुए हैं आपके सजेशन भी और आपकी आवाज सुनकर आप आपको देख कर ऑल द वे फ्रॉम केरला आई एम आई एम जस्ट ग्लैड टू बी लाइव टॉक टू यू आई आई ऑलवेज लिसन एंड यू नो यू योर सेशंस इट्स एन ऑनर फॉर मी टू बी विद यू आई बिलीव आई आई दिस वन थिंग आई आल्सो वांट टू से आई ट्रूली बिलीव लाइक यू आर वे वे अहेड ऑफ यू वाओ इट वाज टॉक ऑन यूट्यूब दैट यू हैव इट इज ऑन लाइव You know, to me, <laughs> you know, but the war se baatein kar raha hu. You know, <laughs> it's like this is how it's uh, it's seen. But you, when I see that it resonating with people, and I see it kind of strikes a chord, I see that people sometimes it means so much to some people. Uh, the ideas that are being said, Alhamdulillah, yes, it's we'll really say, uh, encouraging, really you, encouraging that, for me. Uh, that you know, that same thing, isn't like it? That kind of fresh. Me akela hi chala tha jaane be manzil magar log saath aate ke karvaan banta gaya. You know, it's uh, that is actually the, the reality. It's yes, yeah. But anyway, shukran, uh, man. Uh, 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 if you and as always take care, inshallah. Salamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Bye. All right, that was very encouraging. Musti Tab looking kind of fresh. Sonic Boom. Yeah, I get that a lot actually. The whole guile thing from Street Fighter. Musti, will you be doing <laughs> any talks in the future? Yeah, sure. Why not? Boosting the talks in Kerala. All right, Kerala. Yeah. <laughs> Layla's opened it on the iPad. Going there we are. <laughs> I wasn't. I had, I had no intention of doing any kind of uh, even a momentary live stream today. Can you even have a phone? I was going to yes. Uh so we bring one up. Uh it's actually this one. You know, I think something I uh, you know I haven't actually learned how to uh bring the you can bring in um Because this this platform is only the second time I've ever used it, but you can bring up uh, you like videos and I know I maybe by share screen sharing, but now that would then just expose my screen. Yeah, <laughs> nah, hate that in here. It's not this one, not nice. Screen because I wasn't anticipating. I don't want it to expose it. Ah. Looking at my passcode, sound problem. Sound, sound, sound. Sound. Your voice is kind of muffled. What about now? Still muffled. Yeah, I. Audio. Low, low, low. Mufti. All Mufti, right, can, all right, yes. all right. Let me check if it's any better. Hello, testing, testing. Mufti, I mean, we're not going to be. PS4, Xbox. He doesn't play any of those. I don't. I don't really play games. He, unless um, he plays with like hide and seek with uh, Zozo or something. Then is is the sound any better? Much Anyone? better. Much better. It says much better. All right, awesome. Doing it. Doing it. Ha ha now it's clear you do and okay we've got uh Asik Sadiq you do and Asik let's add Assalamu alaikum Arsil sorry Arsil I read it from the it was so tiny the phone Wa alaikum assalam Arsil how are you Mufti I'm good man Your where are you connecting from about late Mufti I'm uh, from California actually 
California. <laughs> Look at that. Layla's always like, California. <laughs> You're doing it, man. There's just such a cool vibrance just to the name California. It's like California. <laughs> now, you see, now he explains the cool outlook you got going there, the hair, the, the swagger. <laughs> You're doing it, man. <laughs> I, I'm good, man. I, How are things? I literally came across your videos and I. I've learned so much, and uh, I really want to thank you for for reaching out to people like us who are looking to learn more about Islam. I appreciate that. Man. And have a better understanding, especially uh, especially people like me who grew up in the West. You know, we, we sometimes we have a trouble relating to to Eastern traditions. Can you be on the? Things don't really click. What does that say? Yeah, I see that. The the knowledge. Things that you say. Uh, Knowledge seeker. I am trying for three days to ask something. Yeah, no, the brother saying yes. No, I deeply appreciate that. I deeply do because I mean, it is. Um, it's like I was just saying to the other, uh, you know, the caller uh, from Kerala, that you see, it's there is it. There is a huge. Um, I don't know how to really frame it. Maybe I don't know if risk is the right word, but there's a there's a kind of trade off that a person has to do if they want to kind of have ideas, be critical, and vocalize their their you know their thoughts. Uh, there's a, a huge trade off that you you know, for example, you can't go into certain. You will always be seen as an underdog. You will be kind of against this kind of almost like a religious industry so to speak you'll be seen as somebody just you know oh people will warn against you call you misguided call you and i'm not saying you know fair enough in people's opinions i'm misguided that's fine but there'll be a whole uh a kind of boycotting um i mean now i think it doesn't really matter at all to me but at, at, you know once upon a time several years back when i made that decision okay i'm gonna kind of just carry on with my way do my you know just say as i feel it it was a huge um you know at that time it was more intense this whole kind of boycotting and uh like i could feel it i mean now i don't really care at all and to be honest my words kind of get out to people and and i see them resonating with people and and, and it does it actually means it means a lot to me in that sense because you know alhamdulillah you know it, it's to me, it's it's been a worthwhile endeavor. <laughs> so yeah, so shukran, man. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. What are any, uh, you know, the, what's the feel in in California, man? What's uh, what's going hot? down? Is it hot? what's sure? I mean, I'm sure it's always hot over there, <laughs> the weather. But I meant, what's the also on the religious side? What's what what's that Please like over there? Oh my God. I think you might have frozen actually. Arsil has frozen. <laughs> no, no, I problem. <laughs> right, we'll Germany. catch up with you. Shukran, shukran for coming on live though. Assalamu alaikum. I think your screen is frozen. All right. So Please people cancel culture. My yeah, friend. I feel that there is a oh, huge he's, um, uh, he's not cancel culture. Oh, let me just. Oh, sorry. I think you you kind of froze there, so we couldn't yeah, see I you moving. I, or I was having some. We, we would have up. called the we would have called the ambulance, Lela, but it would have to be an international <laughs> call. <laughs> so what's what's going down, man? Ars Arsil, first of all, that is a, a an incredibly unique name, Arsil. What, what, I also I know what it what it meant. I think it's an Arabic word. Like I mean, to send something. Yeah, there's the arsil. It it may not be that, but if the the word arsil in Arabic is a command to say send. Um, so you know when you're about to dispatch or send or something like that, it may mm -hmm. not be that, but it that's what in Arabic it would mean. Very unique. What what is a good way for me to, to study and learn Arabic? Like I would consider myself like a very, like, like a beginner, but I want to learn Arabic so I could like 
understand the Quran, you know, by listening to it. I mean, are you doing anything currently to, to learn Arabic? Are you doing any, any programs, anything? Nothing. I mean, I, I can read. And that, that's just about, I do have like a, a I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say I, I'm at ground zero, but I do have a arsenal of vocabulary. Okay. I mean, you see, I would say that things like Quranic Arabic, to learn that, um, it's it's not actually as difficult as people think, but it's one of those things that I feel you should just get it over and done with. Like, it's mm -hmm. not... You see, it's not something you should really, it's not one of those grand kind of let's plan ahead type mm -hmm. of things. Like, you know, three years from today, I'm going to start doing some Arabic. It's not, I think just impulsively just begin. Just and there's so many things out there now. Uh, when I began learning, I used this book, which was by Dr. Surti called Quranic Arabic. And I do stream, I've been streaming some of my archive videos from there. Um, and I think on there, he has a website called Qaf, Q-A-F, uh, something, yeah. uh, right? But I'm not saying his book has to be the best book, but his book was very kind of mechanical, mm -hmm. but it worked for me. It worked like I just, what I used to do. And this is the key, whatever text you're going to take, there's two different, first of all, there's two different kind of, approaches to learning Arabic here. Yeah. There's the approach of a grammatical uh, method. So it's this hallway that you've got two kind of gateways to go through. One is the, the mechanical way, this way, the kind of grammatical way. The other is the thematic, more immersion kind of approach. Now, the grammatical thing, especially for non-Arabs, for, for, I don't know, are you, are you from an Arab background? Uh, no, I, I'm uh, Pakistani. Yeah, okay. I assumed you were Desi, kind of. So let's say if you're a non-Arab, <clears throat> this worked well for me. It worked in the sense that what you're doing is you're laying the framework. The You're kind of setting up where the wiring is. And so it's going to tell you things like, okay, these are nouns, these are verbs. This is what a past tense verb looks like. This is what present tense verb looks like. Have a little practice. These are prepositions. Verbs have different functions in Arabic. They, they call forms. There's different forms. Let's practice them. Now, it's not going to, what it's not going to do with that is you won't be able to go out and speak Arabic. You won't be able to watch something in Arabic and understand it. You won't be able to kind of converse with an Arab friend. But it will, what this will do is it will lay the, Arabic, which is the classical Quranic Arabic understanding. So if you read verses of, in fact, what I was doing with Quranic Arabic, it had basic verses with each lesson. So now you understand this basic verse. Now you understand this verse, which is longer. Now you understand these uh, group of verses. Now you understand this surah. You know, it was building you up. Now, in that sense, what you have is more like a robot. This robot is, it's like a machine. It perfectly will understand the textual Arabic, but it will not be fluent spoken Arabic. So once you finish that, then you start kind of like, okay, now let me start reading some modern standard Arabic uh, books. Let me start picking up on some of that. Let me start watching certain movies with Arabic subtitles. Let me start listening to you know so you then put that kind of flexibility in it the other approach is to an immersion approach where you just kind of jump into either an arabic atmosphere or you learn these thematic sometimes it's called thematic approach so at the doctors okay for haluka you know you know, ma yu'limuka, oh, to alimuni, you know, I don't know, whatever, yadi, or this and that. And you, you're at the doctors. Okay, tanawal hadil adwiya, take this medicine. But you don't understand tanawal is from form six as a verb. You don't understand, you know, adwiya is a plural based on this. You're just taking it as you're going along. This is the approach that's taught in college. The, 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 the most trouble I could have or I do have with learning Arabic would be its morphology. 
Okay. And it's uh, and the grammar. You know, to to what I would say is Arabic's morphology is very structured, as in right. it's all laid out for you. Um, it's very organized. It's very, if I can use the term mathematical, but it's very kind of organized. It's not like, uh, it's, it's not like English in a way that English is a kind of like, um, it, I mean, it's, it's, it obviously has rules, but there's a lot of exceptions to rules mm -hmm. in English. Like things have to be, on many occasions, even pronunciation, it's spoken. Like you're listening to how people pronounce it. You know, do you pronounce a CH as a hard CH or a soft CH? And, and people will disagree or even with rules, like the way verbs will conjugate, they change entirely. Mm -hmm. It's even though English, all languages have rules, but English is not like under 100% surveillance with, in fact, it's very, very, you know, um, kind of free in its, from rules. I mean, it has rules, but they're like not very systematic. There's no consistency um, in everything. I mean, it's there, but it's not in everything. In Arabic, it's always there almost, almost mm -hmm. always. So this helps the learner. Well, you know, when you're saying sarf, I, I'm assuming you mean by that sarf, yeah, morphology, that's what they usually translate, which is how verbs off, they kind of morph and change. Mm -hmm. I would say don't overwhelm yourself. Oh, okay. You know, when you start, learn with just how I learned when I first began, just with five pronouns. So it was just, it was just, it was just like you, he, she, I, we. Mm -hmm. That's it, really. I wasn't... Uh, I, I began with these five. I didn't begin with, okay, here are 12 pronouns. Memorize them. Hua, huma, hum, here, huma, hunna, anta, antuma, antum. I didn't learn like that. I just learned like hua, here, anta, anti, ana. That was it. Right. So now I learned these. Then they introduced nahnu. Okay. We, hum, hunna. Antum. Okay, there's plurals. The duals they introduced right at the, you know, much later because you don't really need them in the beginning. And and this was the same with verbs. I learned verbs like saying, oh, you know, zahaba, zahabat, zahabta, zahabti, zahabtu. That's it. Just these five. I didn't learn them like all, you know, like the way they teach them in madrasas, like, oh, zahaba, 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 blah, 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 and you got to do all this like, blah, 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 like 12. <laughs> I can't, I don't do that. And I, I never did that. And even now I would understand, I could do it if I'm thinking, but I can't, I have never did rote learning like that. So mm -hmm. I would say, don't overwhelm yourself with the pronouns. Just, just go with it with ease. And this is why I did like that Dr. Surti's book. And I don't, I'm sure it's about, I think he's changed the editions. He's a very, he's very senior in age and very old now, but mm -hmm. I hope he's in good health. I haven't really spoken to him in years, but um, I don't know. There could be other books that are just... Nahmad and Haywood, uh, their Arabic grammar was similar to Quranic Arabic of Dr. Surti's, except Nahmad and Haywood had much more in it. Mm -hmm. And it was slightly i mean they're both academic but that was um it had a lot more information in it and it was um it was not quran centered at all so it's just using general examples whereas quranic arabic was like that more digestible because it wasn't as much information and it was always quran centric so it always gave you so i this is why but that said in america i have heard many good things about for example uh, Noman Ali Khan's Arabic thing. I haven't done it myself, but I've, I've known one or two people that have done it. And they've said it's been very good. It's, I uh, think it would be an online course, right? I think so, yeah. They, he had some, I think it, as in it might even be just a pre-recorded now, I'm assuming. I don't, I don't know, because obviously with the whole thing that happened with Nak, I'm not sure how his thing was left after it is exactly the same or not. But I... <laughs> but I have, I mean, some of my friends have done his course and they've said it's been very beneficial. Uh, so I think that's great if it is. I think anything, but consistency is key. That's all. You know, every day, just learn 20 minutes. 
the dedication and consistency. You just have to actually want to to learn. Yeah, like. yeah and and the reason why I like the Quran centric thing is because you can measure your learning. Measure. You see, like, because what happens is one month from today, you will realize, oh, damn, look, I actually understand these verses. A month ago, when I gl glanced through these pages, I couldn't understand Jack. Mm. And now I understand this, this, this. Wow. Okay. And then you're flipping over at other pages. You're flicking through and thinking, bloody hell, I'd never be able to understand that. And then, you know, two weeks later, there you are. And, you mm. know, when I did this, all I used to do with Arabic, my personal thing, I when I studied, I actually years ago before I was just 17 and before going to Damascus, I used to work. So before going to work, what I would do is every morning I would just sit down for between 20 to 30 minutes. That was it. It was sometimes it was 20 minutes. On average, it was like 25 minutes, maybe 30 if I, if I, if I got a good day out. And every day without fail, I would just make notes of what I was reading, and, and that was my lesson for the day. But I did it every day, and I finished it within four months. Wow. And, and I that gave me, you know, that basis that I picked up there forever served as my foundation in, in Arabic, even till today. Like, uh, obviously, you will add so much later on, but that foundation was so healthy for me. I... Um, you know, I, I spoke to people. I mean, I went on to, obviously, I taught A-level Arabic here. I taught in colleges. I did things. But my foundation was always like that. And so I'm not saying you have to use that book or I'm not trying to. I, I do recommend the book to people, but I'm not trying to. I'm not behind this book. It's not my book. But exactly. there could be any book like it. So no, I, I really appreciate I, I wrote down the. I wrote down Dr. Surti and... Uh, no. Quranic Arabic it was called. Quranic. I think now he's done it. You see, I recently reordered a copy because he used to have this really thick book. It was like it was scary. It was like a weapon. <laughs> you know, the book was like it was like this size, <laughs> right? I'm not joking. It was like this size and it was slightly bigger. And this is a different book, but it was exactly like that. I'm not even joking. And you look at this and you think, bloody hell. And really, that book was not the, the, <laughs> the book, as in it. First of all, the font size was massive. It was yeah, like yeah. font size 14 or something. Secondly, the, the pages in it, like the book doesn't start till like page 100. And then it only went on to like a quarter of it at the end were just references and verses to read through. And it wasn't actually the, the, the study book. So it wasn't scary, but what he's done now is I tried to reorder a copy recently and it came up as like two or three different, like I think he split them up or something because I wasn't then sure. I was trying to figure it out that which, so I did end up ordering, um, can you see, um, yeah, if you, can you see that poetry book, that red one, right where the mouse is, my John, can you move that? No, no. Yeah. What's underneath that? Yeah. Yeah, that's just, uh, is there another book like that somewhere, no? No. Okay. So, I mean, I did uh, order them, and, but he's, he's done some shifting to it. I don't know exactly. I haven't been through it that carefully to see how has it changed. But mm -hmm. it's still there. It's, yes. uh, no, there's another a thicker, slightly thicker one that looks very similar to that same design. But anyway, but whatever you get, I mean, don't get fixated on that. You don't have to think, oh, if I don't get that book. No, 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 whatever. You know, just go for it, man. Go for it. Definitely, definitely. All right. It's, well, it's, it's just kind of these things, they kind of like, it, it's kind of, you, you become scared to, to dive in. But I'm, I'm sure once I do dive in, I'll, I, I can be dedicated towards, uh, towards any book or, yeah, I mean, don't even, you know what, don't think of it like I've, look, don't think of it like, oh, I've got to learn. Think of it like I get to learn. Absolutely. Like that. You see, like, think like, oh, yes, like, you know what, oh, you know what, today I'm, tomorrow I'm going to go through this. Damn, 
I can't wait. You know, like that. Like that's how I used to when I was learning Arabic. Like I'd look at the next day's lesson and think, oh damn, all right, I'm gonna learn about what is it, what is that about? I'm gonna do that tomorrow and that. Like I get to do this. Like think to yourself in your mind, like, oh, I get to do this tomorrow. And and that even that changes, you know, words, how we talk to ourselves, our internal dialogue changes so much of our outlook. But, you know, people they do things like they'll say things like, um, you know, like you speak to people, oh, how are you doing? People say, I'm not bad. You know, this this is this reflects an inner frame of mind. Like people should, I I would generally, I mean, I would never. Uh, uh, say something to me saying something like i'm not bad is like that, that's just out of order like it's you've you either i mean unless you're discussing an actual issue but people say that to mean i'm okay like people should be like i'm good you understand and and that's how you then your mind kind of gets in sync with your your attitude like yeah, I'm good, man. I'm, yeah, things are good. Alhamdulillah. And that's how. Similarly yes, with learning, I like, your style. like a person thinks, yeah, man, I get to do this. Not I've got to do. I get to do this. And alhamdulillah. And, and don't get me wrong, we can slack. Look, I'm learning Spanish right now. I slack with it, but it's it's different. The motivations are different. Like you're also it, learning Chinese, right? Chinese I put on hold until my Spanish gets good. I thought, you know what, I, I need to, uh, because I was at one point doing them both simultaneously, and then I thought, you know what, i am got all these other things going on. Okay, I'm putting Chinese on hold, and I'm just going to focus on Spanish. I, I lived in China for about eight years, so I can speak Chinese. All That's right. why when I saw them, you were, uh, uh, All right. Yeah. Now it's been so, you know, now I've left... Uh, uh, Mandarin. For a good while, Mandarin, but uh, I'm just trying to bring it back up. Uh, wasn't it? Yeah, trying to <laughs> see, like, ah, right, ah, see, like, it's been such a while, it's been like actually about four or five years I've left it. <laughs> you still have ah nishwa <laughs> shama that's that's like over the, when i went there i didn't take any classes or anything yeah it's just that by See, living there by being inhabited that's the, that's the immersive uh approach immersive. but obviously if you live there it really helps but imagine you did learn grammar it would then make it amazing because mm -hmm. if you, you see, it's funny he doesn't know after eight years. It's called Mandarin. No, oh no, I know it's called uh, <laughs> Mandarin. Uh, Mandarin. But I'm I'm just saying that you see, if you because it's the immersion is great to get everything moving, but the grammar eight? helps. Is it eight? It's been probably uh, probably about eight, now, probably about seven years, eight, maybe about yeah. But it's been a good while since I made that decision. I'm putting it on hold. It's like, but uh, I do want to resume it. But right now, you see, my motivation for learning that is not the way my motivation was for Arabic. My motivation for Arabic was like very, oh, I want to understand the Quran. I want to understand Islam. I want. Right now, with Spanish, it's just fun. Like I watch things in Spanish, like I watch TV series in Spanish, and I understand a good amount of what I'm listening to, and I... So it's it's more just a kind of fun thing. Not really. You watch every movie and you put the language in Spanish. <laughs> See, she's saying like you watch everything, you put the language in Spanish. <laughs> I do. All right. So Arsil has frozen. I All right. It. Well, there you go. People. No, it... There's loads of people. One of them said, I am a knowledge seeker. Can I be next? All right. So what is cricket Chinese. called? Chinese? <laughs> I've heard that one. <laughs> People, let's wrap this up. Oh, my God, we've been going on for so long. This was just a quick gup shop. It was just a test to see if I can work the webcam, which I can, because I was trying to think that I'm sure there's a hack around this, I and I figured it out, people. I figured it out. You can right. So, guys, uh, there's Knowledge Seeker wants to come on. Okay, should we do a final? Yes. yes no? Yeah. yeah. 
Or Layla said, do a final. Layla, it's... You mean subtitles in Spanish, and I'll hear, put the language. I do subtitles in some, and in some, I do the actual language in Spanish. And well, I just he, listen. She left. Right, so, okay, well. You have the last person left. So you have somebody, left. all right, Salam's from France. All right, people, you're doing it. Bonjour. I feel that languages are so awesome, honestly. I, um, I, am a I wish I could learn person. so many. Like, I, and I want to learn so many. Oh, Go gosh. on then. Shall we get knowledge seeker on there? Yeah, she's back. Go on then. Like is it a she? Is it a he? Assalamu alaikum to he. It's a he. All right. Assalamu alaikum, knowledge seeker. Wa alaikum salam, ya akhi. Wa alaikum salam, brother. Where are you anything from? Layla is such a kind soul. Oh. Uh, I'm from the I'm from the Netherlands. I'm uh, one of your biggest fans. Me and a friend. Uh, me and uh, me and my friend. We like you. We like to see the program. <laughs> Mashallah, brother. Shukran, uh, shukran. I'm yeah, deeply I, I'm, so, I'm sorry for I'm sorry for doing this. I'm a shy person, and <laughs> <laughs> it's you're just all you're doing is you're veiling your Jamal from us. All that Salam beauty Allah. and all that uh, the Why? nur that Allah has given Salam. you. <laughs> Allah uh, my dear brother Mufti, uh, 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 me and a friend of me, we we discuss a lot about Islam. Uh, I'm a Moroccan, by the way. I'm just Arabized. I'm basically an Arabized Moroccan, I'm a Zir, how do you uh, uh, call it Berber? Uh, no. We like to read a lot. Uh, to be honest, my brother, uh, I love Islam. I was really devoted like you, but mm -hmm. I was always, always, always shocked about Islamic history, especially about Aisha radiallahu anha about the stories about why the Sahaba did invade the nations and about especially about Arab nationalism. Mm -hmm. I was always yeah. wondering like how can we Muslims, you know, we should be, we should be peaceful people, we should love each other, we should help each other. We should be, we should have a, a, a strong uh, how do you say it? A strong solid uh, solidarity. Excuse, yes, yes, excuse my English. Eh? No, no, absolutely fine. Like we should have a brotherhood. Why? Yeah. How come? How come we Muslims? We don't think logic, especially with a hadith. You know, how can a Muslim person say like the Prophet ﷺ married a little girl from six years old? You have a daughter, mashallah. I have a little daughter, mashallah. How come we can say this stupid things without the respect? How come we Muslims worship Sahaba more than we worship Allah Subhanahu wa Taala? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and if you read the history books, the Sahaba are basically being described as imperialistic people. Now, I'm yeah. wondering, like Mr. Mufti, is this, were the Sahaba really imperialistic, or was it just uh, Umayyadic story? Were they realistic or imperialistic? What did you oh, say? Imperial, uh, imperialistic. They, like, did they really invade other nations, or was it just you know forgery in the history? What happened? So, so, yeah, just one moment, my dad. Sorry, just the word. Uh, did you say imperialistic? Yes, imperialistic. imperialistic. Yes. So what? Yes. You see, I, I first of all, I totally uh, agree with you, brother. That look, there is. It's unfortunate sometimes. It's people, really. It's not the deen, but there has been in some times in Islam. There has been a strong kind of nationalism. There's been a superiority sometimes of, let's say of things like Arab supremacy. There has been, sometimes it's been balanced. Sometimes it has. So in early, very early Islam, after the Prophet had passed and the, uh, after the, not in the, uh, with the Khulafa, the early Khulafa, but in the time of Bani Umayyah, not with necessarily Muawiyah radiallahu anhu, but after him, in the time of Bani Umayyah, there was this thing of like kind of Arab uh, supremacy. Now, it may have been that, you know, in their way that that's how they, that's all they trusted. It may have been. But they did, there was this thing of they didn't consider like the Ajam or the Amazir or these kind of people as it spread to be, you know, all like on a level. Um, now, later on in the Abbasid period, it does get balanced, to be fair. I don't think, I think this is really human beings um, as opposed to the message of Islam. Sometimes people, what they will do is they will look into the Quran, use verses to justify. I know right recently in Morocco, for example, there was this 
uh, campaign or people for, like a kind of a prejudice against the Amazigh kind of languages. Cool. And I think that, to be honest, I'm, I'm obviously I'm not an Arab. I'm not Moroccan or Maghribi as an outsider. I have been to Morocco on many occasions, but I, you know, as an outsider, I feel this kind of thing, like trying to block people's languages, wherever it happens in the world, is just jahal. It's ignorance and it's insecurities. Like people feel insecure. They don't need to feel insecure. Like I think you can celebrate people being different and it's it's an amazing thing like people are you know if, if you speak a different language as well we were just speaking about languages a moment ago with the person and i was saying i wish i could you know i wish i knew so many like in my mind i want to learn so many languages like i feel that's so awesome uh, but yet people become kind of oh my god if we do this we're gonna lose you know the, it, we got to control the people we got and that that is like how Saddam Hussein, for example, with the Kurds, you know, we can't let them speak Kurdish, we can't let them do this, we can't, or how in Turkey with some Kurdish people they do it, and uh, how like in, in Northwest Africa with the Amazigh and, and the people of the Reef speaking like their traditional language, yes. writing their, you know, language in place. Uh, letters. Yeah, and I feel that this really is just all it is is insecurity like people exactly. it's kind of like they, they they it's jahal like within and 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 a fear like with the there is no need to be afraid in my understanding but people are and um as far as the the thing you're saying about other things in islam like the age of aisha and stuff like this i totally agree with you and i feel that that's um you know these there's things like this that is Unfortunately, people let it let it slide, and scholars in the past didn't condemn; they just accepted for some reason this kind of stuff. Even though in practice, a lot of them would never have personally accepted these things, but they didn't condemn it publicly. Maybe they thought, "Forget it. There's no point. You know, it's going to cause too much of a backlash." Or I don't know what, why they didn't, but it seems that the majority of the ulama always were silent and just accepted. And there may have even been some people who historically misuse these kind of things to justify their own kind of sickness. That, you know, they, because if you look in the books of fiqh, they will then say, you know, what is the age, the umr al-nikah, that you can, that yasihu fihi nikah and then they will write, like in the Hanabila, the Hanbalis especially, and other people, they will say, oh, it's this ah. Why is it this ah? Because the age of Aisha was this ah. They will say this nine because that's what the Hadith states. So they begin it from what the, it's like they're using that to set the standard. My, and, my brother, yeah. uh, sorry to interrupt you. No, no, no. The problem with, 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 with us Muslims, is especially within the Arab community, I'm not being a racist, I'm just being, you know, my, no. my personal experience, uh, uh, especially in the Arab community, people don't, uh, don't, uh, don't take logic, they don't use their rational mind. It's not possible for a man, an older man like you and me, to marry a little girl from five, six, or ten years old, you can't even, you know, consume a marriage with her. It's very dangerous. You know, course. you know what I mean. I mean, these things are yeah. absurd. It's crazy. Yes, but, but I have a friend who's a doctor. From a medical point of view, it's very, very dangerous. You no, know, of to have sexual yeah. intercourse with a girl. It's it's crazy. It, that kind of a Imam Malik had said back then. Imam Malik's fatwa in the Mudawwana is yeah. that the nikah is valid like he says is that he says illa he speaks about uh, you can marry it, those man to take on nikah and he and he speaks about nubal yeah yeah that's arabic and so nubal which wouldn't they wouldn't allow this this is what i'm saying that they they in practice it wasn't necessarily like that but they for some reason didn't condemn it publicly and that is, I, you know, always going to be a question mark that why couldn't they be more vocal? And today you're right. I mean, in it's not just the Arabs. Unfortunately, the Muslim world, um, you know, it's it's kind of so far down in this, um, 
there's just so many things there's like a blame culture there's jehel there's ignorance there's a lack of there is a lack of resources there are international struggles obviously going on poverty other things but there is this kind of like a stubbornness to not embrace this like enlightenment because they sometimes people feel the west is enlightened that is a western thing you know how, this is from the gharb when why should we think like them this is this fikr is fikrun gharbi they feel there's a western but it's not really this is enlightenment it's it's nur you know in fact it's very interesting that this enlightenment is what imam malik said innamal ilmu nur that's all it is it's not wayat. it's nur like if, if if you have an enlightenment of the heart you have ilm this is what it is not reading i can kathratul you know i can quote this hadith and quote that's not ilm that's just information so uh, i agree I with you it is a very difficult struggle in unfortunately the muslim countries um and i agree with you in the arab world as well uh, you know it's by no means um unfortunately enlightened there's very few people in morocco i think there are some people that do you know these kind of the katira and uh, they do write these books but they're not the mashaykh and um they do sometimes like they think out of the box some of these the katira doctors and they write i've got certain books where they come up with great thinking but for some reason it's it's not allowed to come into the religious like they don't promote it they don't um you know they don't allow this kind of critical thinking the ulama will condemn it oh, astaghfirullah you know this is uh, you know this is against they're trying to challenge and uh, Rashid Eilal, there is, there is a Moroccan uh, scholar or doctor. His name is Rashid Eilal. And he questions I have, I have Bukhari. his book, Rashid yes, Eilal, yes, on yes. Uh, Sahil Bukhari. I've watched his interviews. Yes. Yes. I actually flew to Morocco to buy his book. And uh, no, no, that was somewhere else. But I went to, because his book, they actually, you know, they seized his book. Uh, I yes, think in yes, yes. Marrakesh, they there was a there was a one of the courts, you know, they gave the hukum li musadratil kutub that he had. That's it's nice. that book on Bukhari because they said, you know, this is fi ihana and this and that, but it wasn't. But this is the kind of you see what I mean by insecurity. But he's a fine example of a Moroccan thinking outside the box. Uh, there's well, many like him that do think, but they are these kind of doctors. Um, my, my brother, I, I know, sorry to interrupt you, I know Moroccans personally who basically criticize the Sahaba, but they're not Shia, they're Muslim like you and me, to yeah. criticize them for imperialism, to criticize them for, for bad behavior. Uh, they told stuff like they were basically drinking and ruling nations. It, it, but the problem is, like you said, my dear brother, lots of Moroccans are afraid, you know, of the government, of the, of the society. Yeah. Just like me, for example, it, uh, I did some research about my Amazigh heritage, right? When I told my Moroccan people we are basically Arabized Amazigh, Wallahi, brother, they called me a kafar billah. Can you believe that? Yeah. You know, they they I mean, called me a kafir. I, you know, this is the problem that I I spoke to. There was actually somebody from Europe, actually. I'm trying to... Um, there's a lady from... Um, she's very active in the whole... Uh, with the Amazigh thing. And yes. she had, you know, she had told me that... I don't know whether she still is, but for a portion, she had even left Islam. Just because, because she wanted to embrace her Amazigh culture she was she saw it as she was shunned she saw that people kind of consider that oh you know to be you have to be arab like you can't be and and the whole thing that in addition to other problems as well like misogyny speak you know these kind of things these ahkam that they feel are against like ahadith naqisatul aqal women are naqisatul aqal this kind of stuff which is not a, a sahih hadith but people have used this to control women sometimes. And this lady had actually left Islam. And, and the Amazir thing was a big thing for her. And she was really like felt that what, you know, even though in Islam there's nothing against that, but people in in that country were using it, like you're saying, if you if you're proud of it, they call you a a kafir. They say that, you know, no. this person 
is uh, trying to, you know, yashqo asal muslimin, and he's trying to, um, you know, he's trying to create iftirat in the ummah. And the, there's nothing, you know, it's just insecurities. And and true, it's not because if you look at the Quran, it's that Allah saying we created you, shaubam litaaraf. That this is that we, so we really just come to know each other. This is. But yeah, I agree with you. There is a lot of um, ignorance. You know, what fact, things... speaking of Morocco, there's the the rulings of things like Kadwa Se'aya. I'm not sure if you're familiar with that Kadwa Se'aya. No. I think the Moroccan Parliament has used it as well, but I think the ulama have objected. So there's an old there's a fatwa, and it's a part of the Parliament thing as well as in their laws. Uh, I think the law in Morocco, they call it the Mudawana. Uh, Mudawana. So, uh, so Maliki ulama from Morocco hundreds of years ago, like so there was a great scholar called Ibn Ardun about 600 years ago, Maliki, and he had issued the ruling that, for example, a wife would inherit 50% because he said she would have contributed, helped the husband make the money. So she should get 50%. And they call it sometimes Harik al Yad because of her hard labor or Al Kad was Si'aya, Bisabab al Kad, Bikadiha was Si'aya Tiha, you know, Fi Hadil Amwal, because she obviously helped in getting it. Now, this fatwa exists in the fiqh. Now, some people, they try to discuss this from an inheritance point of view in saying, look, uh, this should be part of the law. And there was, I know there was a huge backlash as well because the ulama said, oh my God, this is no, no, you know, she should only get, the wife can only get, you know, an eighth or a fourth or whatever it is, depending on the kids and she can't get this. And, but this was part of the deen that was already, the, like the ulama, already, who came up with this? It wasn't, the French didn't make it up. It was the, the Muslims that lived in that country before that said, look, and they were great ulama. They based it on the kitab was sunnah. But yeah, so I, I feel that there is a rich heritage, but there is unfortunately a lot of um, this, this kind of clergy. They scare a lot of people away um, from Islam. Yeah. The worst thing is, my, my dear brother, in the Moroccan society, uh, we Moroccans are basically being contaminated with basically Arabic television, especially with Saudi, Saudi, Saudi Wahhabism mm. and Salafism. For example, in the Netherlands, most of the Salafi people are basically Amazigh, like you know, yeah. like me. So, wallahi, akhi, huma la wal Arabiya jayidan abadan. They can't even pronounce Arab, mm. Arabic in in a you know in a normal sense. They basically learn, you know, just the, some some words like fiqh and words like uh, Allah musta'an and stuff like that. And they, they don't speak. 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 The most of this uh, Rifian and Amazigh people yeah. in Morocco, they are basically ex-criminals, ex-convicts, ex-drug dealers, you know, who basically saw the light like a Christian, saw Jesus walking on the water. They are seeing basically some bearded man with a white shalaba telling them like uh, the kuffar are bad and blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. The Quraysh are good. And the worst thing is all these ex-convicts are basically now going to Syria to rape I'm, I'm being serious, just sorry for my word use. They're basically raping women, killing children, just to, so some s stupid secular Arab can rule the country, but just mm -hmm. using a bit. And the worst thing is, my dear brother, everybody is a kafir, you and me are kofar, mm -hmm. uh, women are bad, playing is haram, television is haram. The only thing what halal is basically just nikah, having mm -hmm. four wives or, and, and, and multiple slaves, you know? The first one, my malakat, a man the same, you know what it is? This is the same, this tatarruf. This no, is no. a cancer in this ummah. Um, no. I mean, unfortunately, sometimes people, what, what it is, is they have a rage within. Like they feel, for example, oh, like let's say for whatever reason, it could be that they've got problems in, in, in where they live, the environment, life. And what, what happens is some people give them a license to vent that rage. You know, they, this it's it's like they, they've got this whole thing, you know, there's a ghalayan, this whole thing kind of boiling up inside. And they then have this license to say, why don't you go to this place? 
and you know conduct these massacres because yes. this is you know is something which Allah you know Amarabihi you know and Allah has said go do this do this. you're going to get ajr and you can yes. act out on all your desires uh, with a, a religious license yes. but I mean our hope is that you know inshallah that people that 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 the light of 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 the deen can shine through at least to as many people as it can um inshallah i mean it, obviously it is you know like you mentioned saudi that look i'm going to be honest with you in in arabic yeah, i do a lot of my not a lot all of my islamic research is almost always in arabic here yeah? no. now online almost everything that is going to give you the majority of the things 90% of them are all of saudi origin like if you're researching a masala about islam look look at morocco morocco has the oldest one of the oldest islamic learning centers in the world qarawiyin oh, right yes. qarawiyin doesn't even have a helpful website oh. the al azhar uh, one of the oldest centers of islamic learning no useful website zaytuna in tunis no website that's functional to help you the, you know if i google a masala okay there are some things in morocco that sometimes come up there's some pages there's some websites like the aluka that are helpful but most of the things that come up are always saudi funded saudi generated because there's a lot of money and it's not just money they're very passionate to do it like they're ready to do it as well and they've got the money to do it it's like so it's you know it's a shame because it online if if i imagine you were a robot and you hadn't met people and you googled you would think the majority of the muslims are all salafi because the the, the online google searches just bring back salafi results always like ibn uthaymin uthaymin bimbaz you know uh, uh sheikh wida'i this this is all the albani this is all that comes back it's different you know, in, in Morocco, in Morocco, you've got there's a great Sheikh. I've met him, Sheikh Rugi. He does some Durus on uh, Muhammad al Rugi. He does some uh, Ruki, he, they write it, but he does some Durus on, um, I think, on the Moroccan channels. But he's quite balanced. Can you find a can you find Fatawa Rasail by Sheikh Ru? No, like where are the websites? There's nothing. Can you find, you know, like we spoke about Kadwa Si'aya, for example. I tell you, if you try to find this mas'ala, you have to search and search to find it. You can't even, like, it's so, you have to know about it to find it. You couldn't just find it because we don't, online, people don't provide the resources. And there, it's not difficult, I think, for governments, like if the Moroccan government wanted to give a little, like, let's say they paid a salary for a few people to generate websites over a year. It's not that much money, you know, you just have to pay a few salaries, design websites, put resources. But the, the kind of that himma isn't there, is it? That that the will isn't there, the drive isn't there. No. So it's it's well, a shame. Yeah. Maybe my dear brother, maybe that is there was one familiar a famous sheikh in Morocco. Uh, his name is Fizazi. Does he know does he sound familiar? Oh, yes, yes. Sheikh Fizazi, the Salafi, yeah, uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a very dangerous person, like I guess twenty years ago it was a very. Have, have you watched his? Have you watched his debate with Ibn Al Azraq Al Ajuri on uh, on Muta? It's oh. on YouTube. No, no, I didn't see it, but I, but I, but I've seen something naughty, naughty like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, he, oh right. Okay. Is it? <laughs> He's a very naughty, naughty Sheikh. Allah Alaihi Wallah. He was like very. Ex that's the problem, my dear brother. A Saudi brother told me once, don't be an extremist in Islam because ex an extremist, if he changes, he becomes something even worse. Mm -hmm. This person was like very dedicated. He was basically an ISIS member. He, he could be like basically a Sheikh al Baghdadi. We know this mentality. He wanted to fight and do jihad. Oh, well, I had heard of Sheikh I had heard of it. I watched on YouTube. There's a debate between there's a Moroccan like a uh, like a he's not he's not Sheikh like that. He's a doctor like that. He's um, his name's Ibn Al Azraq Al Ajuri or something like this. But he on YouTube is having a debate on the concept of muta because yeah. he has a book called uh, Muta Qiraatun Jadida Fil Fikri Sunni, and 
so I bought the book and I was intrigued that what's this person about? So I eventually, you know, made contact with him and I watched his debate on YouTube with Sheikh Fizazi and it was a despicable debate. I mean, Sheikh Fizazi was so rude. Uh, so, um, you know, just like, and I, I was so disappointed that, what is that how Shuch behave? Like very, very uh, just rude and out of, out of place, really. No, it's Al-Kibar, Al-Kibar. Wallah al Adim Kibar. Yeah, he, he, he's an arrogant person. Like, how could, how could you be extremistic one day and the next day you're basically marrying a, a, a minor girl? Yes. Without any without any papers, it's just basically zina. Allah Rabbi, it's zina what he performs, and he's basically saying, "Well, I have to write to marry four women." He didn't even, you know, sign a marriage contract. That's what it is. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem with the Salafist movement. It's it's basically hypocrisy with a beard. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I feel that the issue with these things are the the real shame is they. You know, there's a huge percentage of Muslims that are neither, you know, it's not that they're, they're not Salafi, they're not even practicing. But what these things do is it scares them away from Islam altogether. That's, and that's kind of hurtful that it, because people see this, they, like if you were an Arab Googling, you would just read all this kind of stuff because the other views are very underrepresented in the Arabic, on Arabic Google. They're not like, uh, People, you know, they're there, but you have to know for them to find them. Whereas these views just come up. You know, if you just put a search in, everything, these just keep coming up. So it oh. makes a lot of people leave uh, or become very distant from Islam and then sometimes leave it, which is uh, a shame, really. Yeah. I, 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 have one, I have one more story, uh, Dear Mufti, to tell you. Uh, there was a famous Moroccan scholar. He was at some Islamic board. I don't, I don't know his name anymore. But it was like something like Fizazi, very, very influential. And this guy was like married. He had like, mashallah, multiple children. And he had a female colleague, you know. And she was a widow. She was also an influential female imam. One day, this sheikh and that woman were basically being caught with a haram act by the police in Morocco. So... Ah, oh, right. Yeah, I did read about this. Yeah, yes. So basically, when he asked the Shaykh Yasaidi, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. The first thing he did, he was basically trying to bribe the officers and they arrested him. After he told the story, he was like, no, I was married with her. And I was, you know, doing my stuff in the car. And he said, it's Nikah al urfi uh, yes, I remember yes, this. Yes. This was, uh, who was it? Wasn't this Sheikh, uh, was it Maghrawi or was it one of, no. I think Maghrawi, it's a, it was a man, I was like 63 years old, something like that. He had a yeah, great beard. I, think, uh, it's, something like I that. think it was that Sheikh Maghrawi. It might have been somebody else. I might be mixing him up now. But I remember reading about this a few years yes. back. Yeah. But this yeah. kind of people, my dear brother, this kind of people are basically oppressing uh, free minds like you and me and my friend. So basically, sure. if you have some object objectives or some doubts about some hadith or about some history, you're a kafir, but, they can, but they're basically doing things, even the shaitan would be ashamed of it. Sure. No, absolutely, man. Double standards. Well, brother, it's been an absolute pleasure speaking to you. Me Shukran. Too. Stay strong wherever you are, inshallah. And stay well, in touch. Well, 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 inshallah, another time. Uh, I love you. We love you all. And May God keep you. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep you and your children healthy. Thank you. Allah barak fiqh ya akhi. Ma'a salam alaykum ya akhi. Get us someone in the chat. Oh, it's getting really late. Somebody said, nice. Tasivil Lahore. You're doing it, people. Someone in the chat. Someone in the chat. You're naughty, naughty, teasing me. You're naughty, naughty. You're teasing me. Right. So, people, I think let's, is his friend Scorpion. Because <laughs> he's sub zero. Isn't Am I sub zero? Oh no, that person is sub zero. <laughs> All right. oh, I get it from Mortal Kombat. You do in it. Arabic poem. Let's bring up an Arabic poem, shall we? Um, we if I can bring one, right? So there was. What's a good one? I was. Um... Arabic poem. Right now. Mufti Saab, any words from Mufti Naim? Uh, I've done the whole thing on Mufti Naim Saab. Um, I've got a whole uh, oh. clip uh, where I spoke about him for about half an hour. It was in my Monday nights. I'm, I'm going to make it a separate clip, inshallah. Um, what does this say? 
I right, can't read it. Let me just see. Who's there in the corner? I'm his daughter. Yeah, that's my John. <laughs> Layla Khan, Papa Kijan. <laughs> no, it literally says who's there in the corner. Wait, no, it doesn't mean by that corner. That it's corner. Like, There's nobody in the corner. Not like the, on the screen. Well, you can oh, right. Oh, you're saying over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let me just... Uh... Oh, you're saying this side with me? Because if you're saying with me, I'm his daughter. Of course. No, of course always you always will be. You always will be. Salam. Let me see if... Uh... Um... She's so adorable. Oh, thank you. Yeep. Here's... Uh... Well, let's let's have a little poem. Read a little poem from here. If this is, Ooh, and the more people are coming. What's the other end? Violet's a poem. Okay, here's a. Uh... All right, asaba ka ishkun am rumita bi ashumi. Allah, Allah, Allah. Oh. Wama hadihi illa sajiyyatum. He says, is it ishq that has kind of struck you down or have you been hit down by arrows? Dad, this, These, this is not the demeanor except of somebody that has become enamored. Fa'in kunta mushtaqan ila ayman al huma. وَتَهْوَى بِسُكَّانِ الْخِيَامِ فَأَنْعِمِي oh, Okay, that's a boring part. Let me go to an interesting part. Oh, she's like the girl version of Mufti. She is, absolutely. I am. I am. Absolutely. I am. Also, like so, this, Mufti Saab is scared to face, him, to face my challenging questions. What are your challenging questions? وَلَا تَقْتُلُوهَ Okay. Right, let me read a... Mufti, have you read Namaz? All right, well, I'm gonna. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, look Someone at that. You Mufti the... Saab, have you prayed though? Have you prayed <laughs> though? All right, let's read this of this poem. Poet, given a number, Capricorn dads are the best dads. That is so true. Oh my god, that how do people so know of Capricorn? That is you know so true. Doing no, fat, no, no, like, wait, no. Mm. Dad, 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 dad. Mm -hmm. It's because they're a true fan. They know everything. <laughs> there you go. Inaya, you're doing it. A true fan. That's what Layla's saying. A true fan. Check. All oh, right. So here. Uh, right. Saltu hal wasla qalat la taghurrabina. I said to her, let's meet. She said, do not be deluded. Man rama bina, man rama minna wisalan mata bil kamat. Allah, Allah, Allah. Whoever wants to connect with us, the only thing he connects with is death. <laughs> okay. He suffers, and that to a suffering, agonizing death. فَكَمْ قَتِيلٍ لَنَا بِالْحُبِّ مَا تَجَوَى مِنَ الْغَرَامِ وَلَمْ يُبْدِ وَلَمْ يَعُدِ Allah. How many a victim Thank you for saying this. Oh, to us has fallen oh, such a devastating... Death Even and destruction that he never he came back him. from it. Fakultu stagfiru rahmana min zalalin. Inna al muhibba qalilu sabri wal jalati. Allah, Allah, Allah. He said, I, I seek refuge in the Rahman for the one that loves is full short on patience. Allah, Allah, Allah. Okay, there you go. That's. Uh, Layla, what do you want to be? To I think that's enough of some up. Arabic lines. I want to be a doctor. I'm be a doctor. High five, me, Jan. There you go. All right. So, doctor ki bachi, abhi sone ka vakte. Okay, okay this is. Working? We need to wrap this up, people. You know what? Uh, mm. We need to wrap this up, people. Allah, Allah. I know, no, Allah, Allah, Allah. Mufti, you're emphasizing the wrong harf. <laughs> <laughs> acha, 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 acha. Chalo, you emphasize the right one <laughs> right people let's wrap this up take very good care of yourselves right this was just meant to be a trial what i was actually trying to do was um i had, I had no intention of coming Stop on ignoring my messages. um 
Who's that? Stop ignoring my messages. What are Wait, your where's messages? Where's she gone? What is uh No, you went up. You went up. I'm trying to find the Which one? Right, I can't I can't see you. Anyway, right, I can't see the messages. So please what I was uh, just trying to do was figure out the webcam settings and I was sitting here. As you can see, once again, I wasn't really intending really? to go live and then Layla comes in, I figure it out and Layla goes, Where do you go live? So I said, Really? Shut Go on then, Layla, for you. No, I, I like, said go live on TikTok. <laughs> she did actually. She said, "She said, Baba, go live on TikTok." Daddy, I was like, "How do I go live?" What's that? Okay, guys, so let's wrap this up. Right, take care of yourselves. Catch up soon. Subscribe, people. Subscribe to my channel. That's what you're doing. Click Link the notification bell. Down below. Spread the love, people. Until next time. Over and Remember out. to live, love, and laugh, people. Laugh, laugh your heads off. Salam alaikum. Salam from my jan. Salam. Wait, a bit more of more to the salam than just salam. There you go. There you go. Adios, people. Adios. Adios.